Hello, I'm Rebecca Vaughn. It's Saturday, April 27th. Here's a look at the top stories from your trusted local news source. Governor Kim Reynolds issued a disaster proclamation for Pottawatomie County to help people recover from severe weather. This is in western Iowa, just across the border from Omaha. The proclamation activates various grants and programs to help repair homes or replace items. This is video from our coverage partner KCCI of a large tornado just east of Neola, Iowa in Pottawatomie County. You can see the funnel cloud moving as dark clouds cover the sky. Tornadoes plowed through Nebraska Friday, causing severe damage across Omaha suburbs. In Lincoln, you can see debris flying through the air as a tornado touches down. In that same county, a building collapsed after a tornado hit it. Several people were trapped inside and at least three were hurt. Multiple train cars derailed near Waverly, Nebraska, outside Lincoln after it was hit by a tornado. Here are some of the photos of the scene. And you can know what's happening with severe weather in Iowa when you download the First Alert weather app. Turn on your location to get alerts wherever you are. It's available for free on both Apple and Android devices. In a TV9 follow-up, the Archbishop of Dubuque says the Archdiocese reported allegations of sexual abuse against a priest to the Dubuque County Attorney in 2014. This week, Father Leo Riley was charged with five counts of sexual abuse in Dubuque County. Investigators say he sexually assaulted four altar boys in the 1980s. He later moved to Florida, where several men say he abused them as a child. The Archdiocese says it did not know about any allegations while Riley worked in Dubuque 40 years ago. When allegations were made in 2014, the Archdiocese reported it to the Dubuque County Attorney's Office. DA's office did not investigate because of the statute of limitations had expired. The Archdiocese also conducted its own investigation and did not find evidence to support it. When a new allegation was made in May of last year, it was reported to the Dubuque Police Department. Riley was working in Florida at the time and was placed on leave. In a statement the on the allegations, the Archbishop writes in part, I'm truly sor sorry when a member of the clergy hurts a child in such a terrible way, instead of providing them with the proper love and guidance that each child inherently deserves. I am hopeful that this week's events will bring about justice and healing. Lynn County Sheriff's Office has issued an Operation Quick Find for a 16-year-old last seen in Central City. Allison K. Harris was last seen Thursday evening near West Broadway Street in Central City. She is described as being white, 5 foot 1, 125 pounds with blonde hair and blue eyes. She was last seen wearing a green t-shirt with black sweatpants. Anyone with information of where Harris may be is asked to contact the Lynn County Sheriff's Office. And one person was killed and two others were injured in a Delaware County crash Friday. A Polaris Ranger, that's a UTV, was traveling southbound on I or 190th Avenue in Royal Ryan around 2.30 Friday afternoon. The driver of that vehicle failed to stop at a stop sign. The vehicle was then struck by a pickup truck traveling eastbound on 310th Street. Both vehicles came to rest in a ditch. The name of those involved are currently not being released. The crash is under investigation by the Iowa State Patrol. Thanks for watching. Tune into TV9 and KCRG.com for the latest updates and breaking news.